Welcome back everyone, this is Recon Stewart and we are finishing up the CDU tutorial uh, where we take an in-depth look at every page within the CDU and try and understand what it is uh, it's capable of. So today we're going to do the flight plan management system. So we're going to hit LSK, um, excuse me, FSK, FPM or uh, function select key, flight point management, flight plan management and it takes us to this page. So this is the main menu of the flight plan uh, menu system. And we can see we have one active uh, flight plan here, the one that uh, I created earlier. Hitting LSK1 will switch you from auto step to manual step, which I'll describe later in a bit. Um, if we had multiple flight plans, I think I can type in test and create a new flight plan, yep. And then as I hit uh, selections here. Let me go back. That's not what I wanted. It uh, picks the flight plan based on the line select key that I use. So my test flight plan or my current flight plan. And asterisk is selected next to the current and active flight plan. And then there's the flight plan sequencing mode. Uh, the flight plan sequencing mode um, for active flight plan manual is default flight plan and then auto. What this does is as you overfly a waypoint it will auto step to the next waypoint for you if you've set it to auto or as I prefer it to manually step um, in case I'm orbiting a target or orbiting a waypoint I don't want it stepping to the next waypoint until I'm ready for it to so I usually set mine to manual. And then <clears throat> What I'm going to do is head back to the ground and show you guys how I build waypoints for a flight plan and then how I enter them into my flight plan management system um, in order to build my own flight plan uh, from the CDU without having to use the uh, mission editor. And now all these tasks I've learned uh, as a member of the 476th, uh, most of everything we've done Today, I've learned as a member of the 476th or watching other people's tutorials or reading the A-10 flight manual. So let's, uh, let's go back in time to the beginning of my flight today when I entered in my flight plan. And you guys can see exactly how I do it. And we'll see you when we get back. All right, we've jumped back in time here and we're back on the ground. And I just want to go through how I set up uh, some waypoints and a flight plan before we fly a mission. So the first thing I'm going to do is switch my page knob into other. And then I'm going to enter the waypoint page by t hitting the waypoint button. And then I want to go into waypoint and hit waypoint LSK right one. And here I can enter several waypoints. Now, right now I'm flying on the 476 server. And thank you to Noodle, Snoopy, Eddie, Stuka, uh, and the rest of the command staff and uh, brilliant people at the 476. They've added a number of nav coordinates in our mission. Some of these won't be in your servers, but some of them will. So I'm just going to go through and show you how I add some uh, predetermined uh, nav cords and add them as waypoints in my flight plan. So the first thing that I do is type in the first set of uh, predetermined nav coordinates, which is flex. And you can see if I hit FL, flex pops up automatically in my scratch pad. So I want to copy flex into my CDU, and so I hit LSK right one to replace initial position. And then I will uh, create a new waypoint by hitting LSK right three next to one to create my first waypoint with a question mark next to it. I hit that, and I've now copied and pasted flex's coordinates into waypoint number one in my CDU. But I should rename it just so I know what it is. So I'm going to hit flex.01. And then I'm going to rename it by changing the name MSN001 to flex.01 by tapping LSK right one. 
Then I'm going to change the elevation that I want for flex from its natural elevation of 2290 to 4,000 feet. And I hit LSK left 2. And now my uh, nav computer shows flex 0 0.01 at 4,000 feet elevation. And then you can also see its uh, latitude and longitude coordinates here on lines uh, what is this, 7 and 9. And then you can see that I can change it to see the UTM uh, coordinates or the MGRS coordinates uh, by hitting LSK right 4. And that'll change me to grid 11 south, WG84. And then within the big uh, the grid is the actual coordinates of Papa Alpha 76015-20145. So that's my first waypoint. It's entered. We're good to go. Let me enter my next few waypoints. So the next one is strike. I'm going to again hit LSK right 1 and copy that information into waypoint 2 by hitting LSK right 3 next to the 2 with the question mark. I'm going to rename it strike.02 and replace the name by hitting LSK right 1 and change the elevation to 6100 feet. And again, I can see that these coordinates are different than uh, the flex coordinates that I entered in a little bit ago. So let's enter our third coordinate, which is Nixon. And it automatically pops up. I'm going to replace, copy Nixon's coordinates into the CDU by hitting LSK right 1. And I'm going to create a new waypoint using those coordinates, hitting LSK right 3 with the question mark number three and I'll rename that to Nixon 0.03 with an elevation of 12,000 and then I'll just do these next ones fairly quickly And then this last one should be in everybody's uh, CDU systems as it's built into the NTTR map that uh, DCS made. So we'll type in Nellis and then it automatically populates Nellis Air Force Base. I'll replace and copy these coordinates into my CDU by hitting LSK right 1. I'm going to create a new waypoint with those coordinates hitting LSK right 3. And I'm going to change the name to landing.06 and and then I'm gonna leave the actual elevation of the airfield as the elevation so there you have it I just created six waypoints uh, pretty quickly using the CDU and now I want to plug them into my flight plan so I'm gonna hit the flight plan management button here and I'm gonna hit LSK left one to switch it from auto to manual and what that does is make it so when I cross a certain distance from a nav point it won't automatically step to the next one especially if I'm like at a target and I'm circling doing a number of gun runs on it I don't want it continually stepping to my next waypoint so I always prefer to have that set to manual I then come over here and I hit LSK right one in order to build my flight plan and you can see I've got 01, 02 here. And right now, the first flight plan is waypoint zero, initial position. Well, I don't want it to be that. I want it to be the waypoints that I created. So I'm going to type in flex point 01. You see it auto populates there when I hit the period. And I just hit LSK left two, and boom, it populates flex point 01. My next waypoint that I created was strike. And I hit the period, and boom, there's strike 0.02. Hit LSK left 3 to include it there. I then come down here, and I type in Nixon 
0.03 and auto populates LSK4 to create my third waypoint in my flight plan. And then of course I'm out of spots. So what you need to do is come down here to the page up, page down and hit the down arrow. And here we are, two, four, five, and six. Now another way that you can do this is you can hit zero four and it will automatically pull the fourth waypoint in your uh, waypoint computer that you just set. So if I hit LSK2, boom, strike 04. I hit 05, LSK left 3, apex 0 0.05, I hit 06, this should be landing 0 0.06. And of course it is. Now here's another trick that you can also do, is if you hit page down again, we're on to 7, there are a bunch of those uh, pre-entered nav points in the NTTR. For instance, Creech or Groom Lake. If you just type in those pre-entered nav points, there's Creech right there, and I hit 07. That's waypoint 52 in the nav computer, and it's for Creech. Or if I want Groom Lake, I just type G-R-O-O, -O, I hit Groom Lake, I hit LSK3, number 8, and that's waypoint 53, Groom Lake, now in my flight plan. And then once you have all of your waypoints in there, you come back to uh, flight point management, and you can actually create a new flight plan if you want two flight plans by hitting LSK4, Whoop, and you have to rename it, but I'm not going to do that right now, but this is our uh, flight plan here, and you can see our eight waypoints. And then what you want to do is come down to your steer point nod, knob and change that to flight plan. And then I like to change my position knob to page and leave it at ground speed so when I'm taxiing out and on my takeoff roll, I can see my actual ground speed here and in the CDU repeater up here. All right, um, that's it for this section. Uh, we'll be right back with the next section. And welcome back everyone. I hope that answers all your questions on waypoint building, uh, bullseyes, flight plan management, um, testing the systems, uh, diverts, navigation, Iggy. I mean, we just covered every page in that CDU. Uh, some of it's modeled, some of it isn't. Some of the stuff I am 100% correct on, some of it I might be 100% wrong on. Um, basing it off of prior um, conversations and reading the manual. I know there are more people out there that know more about this than I do, but I had not yet seen a CDU tutorial that went through every single page of the CDU and the Iggy navigation system, so it wasn't such a mystery to everyone. So this is my attempt at uh, clearing up that mystery. Uh, if there are any concerns, questions, comments, um, Things that are wrong, please put them in the comment section. Um, I've had a heck of a long day making this video. I'm sure there'll be some mistakes, but um, hopefully it uh, is pretty accurate and uh, helps people out as it did me. This is Recon Stewart. Thanks for watching. We will see you next time. Take care.